I started coming to River's Edge before it was called River's Edge. I was technically the first children's pastor because I was the oldest. I was like 16, I think. I would kind of wrangle the younger children and uh, and was there for the early days. All the conversations of figuring out what the church was going to be and uh, just kind of doing life together. The authenticity that I saw in the people that you know, were in the first batch that started it. Um, I remember one of the first things that they did on Sundays was just people telling their story. And for me as a teenager, that was really like formative for me to see these adults demonstrate like authentic vulnerability for them to share their story, their mistakes, and uh, the things that they had not gotten right or maybe were not getting right then, but to be met with grace and love from the other people present. Like to see that example as a teenager uh, was really powerful for me in my faith development and honestly set the bar really high because I really had seen an incredible example of what like of what a Christian community is supposed to look like. When I was, I think, 21, I moved away from Michigan for a couple years to go to college and lived in Indiana and then ended up getting married. And when we moved back to Michigan, back to Lansing, um, a part of us kind of wanted to have like a, a church community separate from family. Cause you know, my dad is one of the pastors at River's Edge. We were plugged into another church in the local area, but when River's Edge, when River's Edge was doing the pastor search, my dad was like, hey, can you just preach twice a month for the next couple months? Yeah, I can do it for a couple months. And that ended up being seven months of me <laughs> preaching for a couple times a month. There was just no denying that it was home. Like there was, you know what I mean? Like we, we loved the church that we had been at, but the the community at River's Edge, like after being a part of it again for a couple months, it was like, oh, this is this is where we are supposed to be. Like these are our people. There's not even a question in my mind of where else I would want to be. It's an it's a blessing to be around people that challenge you to be a better husband, be a better father, um, challenge you to grow in your faith just by seeing the way they do life seeing the authenticity that people in our church um, live their life with, like the, the evidence of their faith through their actions, like that makes me want to be better in my own. I think one of the things that I love about River's Edge is I've never felt uncomfortable inviting friends to church. Uh, even friends who did not grow up going to church, I don't have to give them like a heads up on like, hey, here's some weird things that you might experience. Or like, I know that when they walk through the door, they are gonna feel welcomed. I know that they are gonna have a pastor that follows up with them. I know that it is a community that anybody can step into and be a part of. I want more people to experience God's love. And I know that this is a community where they can experience that. Think about the reasons that you are here, that you choose to be a part of this family. Um, because there are lots of other churches in town, but you're choosing to be a part of this family. Think about the reasons, like the things that keep you here, the things that you love about here, and then get excited about other people feeling and experiencing those things. Think about how your relationship with God has grown in the time that you've been here. And think about who in your life needs to be drawn into that relationship.